Hello, darlings. Happy Monday to all of you and welcome to Let's Build the World. <laughs> oh, I've missed saying that. It's only been a week away, but it feels like an, her, a lifetime. It feels like a lifetime since I've seen you all, since we've been building, being filth, all the usual that comes with being in this community. But, um, yes, hello, part three of Blossom Crop. Part three of Blossom Creek Park. Welcome back. We're going to be Kagorak. <laughs> part three of Blossom Creek Park. Here we are. We're going to be cracking on with some more building today. That's what it's going to be. Yes, it is. I've done a little bit off of camera today. I've also kind of finished the church area, minus a few little details I want to add in here and there. So today we're going to be cracking on with the kind of farmer's market slash general store. I thought this park would look cute with like a nice American general store. Maybe something that looks a little bit like this. We'll pop this into frame now so you can kind of see. Something along that kind of line. Um... That's what we're going to try and do today. And I want like a nice little outside area where they can maybe eat the local produce, make it look like a cafe. So I want this building to have some kind of like kitchen or bakery in there. I think a bakery would be really cute. And just loads of produce where they can come and buy. And then people could, I might even put some empty market stores out so people can like sell their own produce and stuff here. I think that's where we're going to go for today. Yes, we are indeed. So without further blabbing on about utter crap... Let's get into building and we're going to make a start on this farmer's market slash general store. Here we are, my darlings. We are back at Blossom Creek Park. So you can see I've done a few little bits. If you remember from last time, I've made this little like nice. Oh, oh I didn't see that. We're going to have to twist you around, darling. I did move this last thing. So that's what I didn't see that. I didn't. You can't blame me. You can't blame me for that. Sorry. Anyway, this is where we are. So I wanted this like little like tree lined area where I can make paths come off here as well, going on to various different locations of the park. And I've put some benches and some bins. It still needs tweaking and perfecting and the landscaping needs doing around here. Plus the um, terrain paint needs to be modified and whatnot. But I thought that was a very good start. And then what we did is... I actually furnished the church inside as well. Nothing like too hectic, too great. I just wanted it to be very classic looking in here. So obviously we did the raised kind of platform areas or altar. I don't know what you would call them. I'm not religious. Um, and this is not supposed to be based on any religion, even though heavily churches are used by various faiths. But we're just going to pretend whatever. The sim faith, you know. Um, so this is what I came up with. Just something really simple. Pillars, some chairs enough space for your sims to awkwardly get married in here because you know what will happen sims will be standing in this area and talking it, it, sims weddings are a mess and i don't think they'll ever be fixed unless they bring out a specific pack which i'd probably love one day like a pack for like weddings and birthdays and like do you know what i mean that kind of vibe what is that what is that behind there oh it's the organ <laughs> i was like what the hell is that i plopped one up here didn't i just for, do you know what? I'm going to get rid of that. Goodbye. I'll figure out something else to put up there. We've already got an organ in there. We don't need two. And also a little bit of extra detail here. So this is Flora Abbott. So I made sure to make a grave for Flora. Um, which, if you remember, was the lady who died from the last household that we did, the Abbots. Um, so here lies Flora Abbott, wife, mother, grandmother, Loved by all that knew her. Sleep well, my sunflower. I mean, that's very, very sad. But I've put some sunflowers and stuff on here as well. Um, And yeah, she's got a nice little grave here for... Which, as I go around and progress through the last few houses, there will be a few more deaths. So I might even, like, change out some of these gravestones as well. Sadly, I couldn't use this, like, this big thing here that I've used on the rest of them. Because... They couldn't mourn her. They couldn't get past this here. So I was just like, oh. So I kind of makeshift my own. And yeah, that's what happened. So yes, it is. Anyway, here's, this is where we're working today. So this is where, ignore this as well. I still need, I still need to do this fence properly with the tool mod. It's sticking up everywhere. Um, so what I'm doing today is doing a little general store up here. With like a little cafe, not a cafe area, but an outdoor seating area. Maybe under some parasols around here. 
might, might even make this a bit bigger so it kind of coincides around there. But I did want this to kind of have access past it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see how big it goes. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is where the community garden is going to be. This is going to be the community garden. Things have changed slightly. This is going to be the children's play area here. And then I'm going to do like a... It's it was supposed to... It's, uh, it's going to be a bit like this. Where it's got paths. It's tree lined. It's going to be a bit smaller. It's supposed to be a memorial garden. So I might put a few like plaques on the benches or something for that. But um, yeah, then we're done. I'm unsure how long this is going to take, this build. No idea. We'll probably be in this for a, at least a couple more weeks, I would say. Um, but, you know, and I'm going to be really rusty as well because I haven't touched The Sims 4 in a week, my love. So I'm going to be rusty. Anyway, what I need to do is flop up that reference image so I can get to work on this building. Okay, let's get building then, darling. So I'm going to make a little start. Can I make a little start on the frontal area? It's got like a little door in the middle. Luckily, because of the church, it's got medium at the bottom and small on the top, which is kind of what I wanted for this. So I'm 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 a bit made up with that. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you, darlings. Uh so this terraining might change slightly with this. I do want this to be the kind of general store area here. That could be like the kind of general store area. Maybe a bit bigger, actually. We'll go five there. Five there. And then I'm going to box this in, but still do it in a square, just so I can get a feel for space. I want this to be a little bakery out the back here. So let's do a little bakery moment, or at least a kitchen. Mm, it would be nice to have that open, wouldn't it, though? See, being able to see back. Do you know what? Do you know what? Forget I'd have said anything. I'm just going to do it like this. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Main reasons being, I want them to be able to see into the back of the bakery. That like the bakery is going to be kind of open here. Maybe with those like glass like um, display cabinets that you can show off your baked goods in it. And maybe this can be, I don't know, something. Something along those lines. Now we are going to do a public toilet around this area as well, I think. So I may even try and coincide it off to the side down here somewhere. By use of pulling one of these objects out. I think I might do that. But for now, this is what we've got for the minute. So I'm going to go along the lines of this. Now, this does have a little kind of under walkway. Um, and it's quite a substantial one. It's almost got like a three wide one. Now, I know this probably wouldn't um, be in a park in America. But do you know what? This is The Simpsons. That is all I'm saying. This may be in the middle of a town somewhere. But I want it in my park. So I'm showing it in my park, I tell you. Yes, I do. But um, how are you lot? I have missed you. I really have. Thank you as well. I was trying to keep me um my pre-recorded video a surprise so you guys could see the builds that I built for The Sims 4 Cottage Living. I cannot wait for that expansion pack. And I can kind of freely say now, it's pr after seasons, it's probably my favorite expansion. <laughs> it's probably my... And I know I'm going to be biased... I'm going to be a little bit semi-biased because I did help um, make it by doing a couple builds for it. But I'm just I'm just in love with the concept of it and I cannot wait. This week is going to be... Thank you to you guys as well that have been following along um, with Beryl's Adventures for the Dream Home Decorator. It's going to be the last one this week. The last one of Beryl's Adventures as... A dream home decorator. I'm not saying anything more than that. Because I want to. Well no do you know what I'm going to spoil it. I want to move Beryl to. Um, Henford on Bagley. Her, her and Don are going to move to Henford on Bagley. So expect to see some more from Beryl. Very soon. Yes yeah, something like that. That's the basic shape anyway. Um, what we need to do now is find some decent windows. Sidings. Fences and everything to go on there. Stop making this look like a little general store, I think. So give me a jiffy and I'll go and pull out a few bits. So I've made a slight start. I've made a slight start to this. I'm thinking these windows from Snowy Escape are going to look really nice. Um, I did test them and I thought that... Test them. I did think that they looked really nice. So we're going to do that. We're absolutely going to do it. I'm going to flop one there, darling. These are taking the place of... Um, shutters, because we don't have shutters in The Sims 4. Very fuming about that still, to be honest with you. I would love to see some shutters. Now, I know we can get some custom content, because custom content is otherworldly and godly. Um, but we don't have it in The Sims 4 catalogue. And this is a CC3 build. Yes, it is. 
<laughs> can hardly get my words out today. <laughs> I think these need to go a little bit further along like that. And then I can flop this dead in the middle then as well. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I do enjoy that. So we're going to carry on with these windows. We need to go into here. Um, I'm going to do two more on this side, I think. At the same height, please, if you would. Thank you. One there. And I'll do another. In fact, that's too close. Is it? No, it's no, Is it? Are you? Yeah, you are. You need to come more. One more there. And I'll do another one there. And then the same on this side, too. Uh... Uh, one more there and then again over to this side was that was that the gap or was that too big no, i think that's the gap isn't it oh I'm for it yes yes something like that something like that and then above here what i'm gonna do is have some more of these windows i think i'll do three of these let me see if i can get this balance right so is that right there or is that right that's right and then if i can do one in the middle of this like that i think that will look smashing oh they're up a bit high maybe if i pull them down a bit then as well let me see that i'll have to move these well but that's oh god that's going to be annoying but we're going to try it anyway uh so we might not get a lot done today darlings as i said i'm rusty i've had a week off it's been lovely. It really has. I've missed you, but it's been nice to have a week to myself to just decompress, chill out. It's so important. So important for your mental health to be able to do this. And I see so many creators scared of like taking time off, taking time off for their own mental well-being. Like what other job would you be in where you couldn't take a bit of time off, you know? And some of those creators like panic and make pre-recorded content because they're scared that the community is going to be left with nothing. I just say, just take your time off, loves. It's so bloody important. Take your time off. The people that are here to support you will be here when you get back, you know? And even if they don't, well, then that's not your problem. You know, that's not your problem at all, darling. So this is to all creators out there. Please take your time off and enjoy it and just chill out because it's very important for your mental well-being. Yes, it is. Um, I do have another week coming off a week off in August, at the beginning of August, so it is quite soon. But I'm going to do a couple of speed builds for that week as well. Um, but I'm just going to like record them like around the time that I'm sort of saying it, really. Um, so at least there is something on my channel for that week. But um, streams and everything will be on hold for a week because I'm going to see my friends. I'm going up to Brighton to see my friends. I haven't seen since the pandem pandemic started, so I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I'm so excited. So excited. Right, you need to go there. That's better, isn't it? Yes, Tez. Yes. I'm for that. Um, But yes. Yes, indeed. Right, okay. Let me just get all of these flopped on so this is not too boring for you to watch. There we go. All windows at the top is... They're done. They've got shutters on. They look lovely. I'm not going to do the windows around here yet until I've kind of furnished the bakery and the back area of the shop. I don't really want to do that just yet. So we're leaving it as it is for the minute. Anyway, so on this one, they've got like a lovely signage here. So I'm thinking about what, I'm, what to do. And I think what I'm going to do, that's a bit too big. Can we go down one more? That's perfect. I think I'm going to do like a nice big signage there. Oh, the only problem with that is the gate's going to be taller than that, which is going to be an absolute fuming. Yes, it's an absolute fuming. Oh, Aiden. <laughs> it's good. Oh, no, that's not too bad. Uh, uh, I think we need to go up one more. We'll go up one more. That's the wrong gate up there anyway. I was, I was adamant I was going to be picking that one, but because it's at different heights, it looks a little bit weird. I do still want something quite ornate. So let me find something and I'll see if it works. Okay, so I went for this base game fence. Went for this base game fence. I think it looks nice. It's still ornate. It fits at this height nicely, which I have risen. Also put this sign on for it. I was looking for like an oldie worldy kind of sign and I couldn't really find one. Um, so I'm going to go for that one instead. I don't think these are the right colour though. I think we should make them gold. I think we should definitely do them a little bit more gold to match him with the lettering that this general store slash farmer's market has got, even though these are not equal in the slightest. 
that does not matter because what do we not do here we do not strive for perfection says the virgo <laughs> yeah all right aiden you keep telling yourself that darling you keep telling yourself that sweetie oh that looks fucking gop in that color um i hate the color of these trims i really do we'll go for gray we'll go for gray yeah nice yeah that looks cute that looks cute i think what we should start doing is the kind of like veranda area here just to make this start looking a little bit more pretty and i think the perfect poles here would be the actual ones we used on the church um which are the ones from university so i'm gonna flop one of them there can i do like two here oh we can lovely around there as well get another one and i think we need to pick a nice spandrel to go on this as well now there we go we'll go for that nice spandrel from vampires yes vampires yeah i think that looks nice i'm gonna carry this trim around the build now as well just plonk it all the way around and we'll stop picking some um roof tiles for this place as well because this one isn't just working it's just not working darlings what do we use on oh the church had a new roof the church had a new roof put on it so maybe we can make this look a little bit more older can we go slightly darker here or would that look weird mm, that kind of takes it off into suburban territory for me so i think we'll sit on that one yeah no i think so i do i do think so i don't know why i'm looking at that reference image anymore because it has literally looks nothing like it <laughs> we just it's the best the best thing sometimes with reference images and stuff just take pieces of it what you like and just do your own thing you know that's the best way to build sometimes especially if you're a bit stuck um do i want to do like a little cheeky strip across here at the top here because i know that you do do that for us maybe not in that color though if i do it in a gray yeah there we go that just puts a nice little bit of detail on that roof line there now yeah yeah Oh, those are not, they're still not even. This one here needs to come in more, doesn't it? Maybe to like there. Do you know what? That a fucking do. That a fucking do. What do I say? I say we do not try perfection in this house. <clears throat> and then I laugh at myself because we all know that we do. <laughs> we all know that we do here. <laughs> I might raise this up slightly. I think I'm going to just one though just so there is like a little bump you know yeah that's nice yes why why have you all of a sudden decided to turn that way what is that about who gave you the god-given right huh no one that is the answer to that absolutely no one and i especially didn't no i did not indeed right okay so mm, we need like a little trim on this now as well so i might use this one but just go for that like more yeah something like that does that go all the way along as well? We can make it go all the way along. Um, and do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to deck this area out, I think, now. So, I'm just going to fit it up against there so it does connect in with that nicely. Pull that to about there. There, actually. Because then maybe what I could do is slot in a little triangle piece, piece there. Um, and then hopefully fix in these pieces here as well. Can I just put one there? There you go. Stunning. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll come out more here then. Um, where do I need to come out here though? Because I didn't bring it all the way out. There we go. So this is going to be like a little, almost a little cafe space, I would say, where they can come and sit outside and be under parasols. So we'll make that a nice little bit of decking going on. It would probably make more sense to um, put this under cover. But I might just put a pergola or something out here so they have got shelter from the heat if they are sitting out. Might not. You know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. We're just taking it as it comes today while I get out of this rusty stage of um, not building for several, well, a week. A long time for me. Okay. Okay, I need to pull out a few more bits and stuff now. Okay, I've pulled a few bits out that we're going to work on together, my darlings. Yes, we are. So I've pulled out this here. Little little hanging plant thing. Little little moment that I think would look nice there. Oh, it does. It looks smashing. And I think the same up here as well. Let's just turn that around so it doesn't kind of repeat too much. 
Um, not a perfectionist once again. Um, oh, that is definitely not on there. Um, you need to come up a bit further until I can see that you're in the right position. Oh, oh, that looks smashing. And I thought I could put in two of these just either side here. I might have to size them down. I didn't really want to, but I think I'm going to have to. Um, oh, no, they look nice that size, actually. Okay, well, there we go. I have to size them down twice, loves. Put one there and one there. Nice. I think like a little bakery... Um, sign just about here would be nice. Round about there. I don't know why, again, I'm getting rid of that reference image. It's doing my head in. I'm not even looking at it, for goodness sake. I mean, I'm not even using it. I'm looking at it, but I'm not using it. Welcome back, Aiden. <laughs> Welcome back to you. <laughs> uh, silly bum. Silly bum. Now, community board. I was doing this before I was even describing what I was doing. Community board here, uh, maybe with events and sporting events and village fairs or whatever. Well, it's not village fairs. My heart is in um, my heart is in Henford and Bagley at the minute. You'll have to excuse me, but um, just something where they can come up. Have it. You know what I mean? You know where I'm going with that. I don't need to describe it, do I? Really? Uh, I just thought it would be nice there where they can come and have little community posts at I don't know, just events going on around Willow Creek. I think that would be really sweet. Yeah, that's nice. Can we have a welcome? I think I've really got a welcome mat, have they? I've No, they have not. They have not. But what would be welcoming is the dog-shaped bone one. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. I think that would look smashing there. I like that. And I thought we'd put a little sit sitting area here as well, where maybe the elders can kind of catch up with everyone who comes through to be nosy. You can imagine how it is. I would imagine them doing that very much so there. Yes, indeed. Now, around the front here, I don't know how I'm going to make access yet. I think I'm going to do a pathway from this way. So I might have to smooth out this terrain a bit better. Well, I will have to smooth out this terrain a bit better because look at the state of it over there. We need to sort that. But my thoughts were, in that reference image, they had these like lovely little pine trees. Well, not pine trees, but they had... They were in these, though. I'm wondering if I could overlap these. I use these, but then overlap them with some pine trees just at the front. They're like nice little evergreens that just looked really pleasant in the front of it. So I might do that. Is that going to be floating there? It is slightly, yes. Yes, it is, yes. And then I'll flop one there. Right. Just bear with. Trust the fish. All of that good stuff. Um, And then getting some of these. Can I get them in there? I will have to size them down and there will be tulips maybe growing from them. But I reckon it might look pretty cute if I can maneuver it right and hide. I might do two. If I can get fit two in there, I might be able to hide most of those tulips then. Um, I'm like one there. And then what I'll do is push that one up as well. Like that. Oh, oh I love that. They're still creeping through slightly there, but we'll... We'll forgive it. We'll forgive it. So we do need to do two of them in here. Um, which is, yeah, you know. You know, I would like to have just put one in there. But that's nice. I like that look. I do. I do like that. And then we'll flop a bit more up here as well. So yeah, in this um, building, as I said, we're going to have a nice bakery. A lovely little produce shop as well with a little retail outlet. So you could make this into retail if you wanted. Um... I just think that would be really nice to have like an open bakery kind of like look here. It would be nice if we could get access out from here as well, wouldn't it? Right, like getting rid of this window and maybe having a door there. That would be nice from the shop, wouldn't it? So let's find a little door. Um, oh, I could use the same door we've done there. But I was thinking more double door. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Because I know what I mean. I'm just wondering if you know what I mean. You know? So maybe something along the lines of this. Oh, it's very small. Looks very silly. I can't do that, darlings. That looks very silly. So, yeah, I think I'll do what I said. We'll just use this door here. I think it would look okay here. And it does. And there's access out onto this little veranda area. Do I want to fence that in? I kind of do. And I think we'll use the same fence as what we've used up there in white, too. Because, um... We've used white accents on this build as well. And I just think it would look smashing. And then just 
fence all that area in too. Yes, and then, then that helps that blend over there with these fences. This all needs to be rejigged. I don't know what's going on there. But um, I'll sort that. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, my sweets. Okay, it would not be a build from me without flopping in some corbels. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to flop in... That one's a bit big. We're going to flop them in various locations. Uh, if I can get a good spot for them. There we go. And the same here as well, love, if you would. And I think no American shop would be right without a big flag on it somewhere. So I think we might need to put a flag here somewhere. Um, and probably that, yeah, I was thinking more along the lines of something like this at the top. That could look pretty, pretty good. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do this. We'll put a big flag at the top here. Should I size it down though? Oh, you can't size this object down. I fucking... You bloody can, darling. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> you cannot size this down. Why? What for? Why are you, why are you not size down, eh? That's so weird. I don't know why it's doing that, but there we go. There we go. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. It looks weird. And I can't grab it for some fucking reason as well. Right, so I'm going to try it again. Can I size you down? No. Why can you not size that object down? That's really weird. What about if I did a tent, a flagpole instead? Yeah, we'll do a flagpole instead. Do a flagpole. Let me see the colours here. Does do any of these resemble a US flag? Let me see. Uh, that's probably got the same colours, so we'll do that. We'll use this one and I'll flop it there instead. Yeah. Yeah, not the vibe I wanted, but I'm going to go for it anyway. You know? gonna go for it anyway i think above the windows maybe doing some kind of like window shelter like one of these awnings on top you know problem with that is is trying to match in the roof because they do not match in um let me see this just out of curiosity oh my god it looks like eyebrows i can't be doing with that darling darlings i did not find something that would go over and act as like an awning but look at this look how cute that looks look and they make the windows look a little bit more circular at the top as well which i'm absolutely for so we're going to do that we're going to put these at the top of these windows this object by the way is from the cottage um kit pack if you're wondering what it is it's a shelf but i just think it looks cute above these windows something a little bit more ornate a bit more detail that i'm kind of here for so we'll fit them at the top of these. I'm wondering if we could put them on the bottom ones as well, but maybe not size them up. We'll have a look. I don't think that's going to work, but we'll still have a look and see what that detail would look like. Oh, do you know what I mean? I like that. I do. I don't think it's going to work down here though. No, they don't even fit on it properly, really. Um, Let me just see on your, to the side a minute. Let me see that. Nah, they're not working there. They do work at the top, though. I do like that. So we're going to go along with that. We're going to do it. We're going to do that. Right. So what I need out here is like a little seating area, really. Nothing too much. Just a place where the parents can come and sit where the kids maybe play in the park. I think we're going to go for that green vibe here. So I might... Oh, maybe if I could pop in a different colour, actually. Oh, the red looks good. Yeah, we'll go for the red. The pale red. There's a darker red as well, isn't there? Yeah. Go for the pale red. Um, I'm going to... Right there, there's the door there. So we're going to do like one there. One there. Let me just spin them around. One there. And I could fit another one there, but I just won't put it in front of the door. I'll put it like there. Yeah, that's cute. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it like that. Yes. Yes. Now these chairs aren't going to go with these tables because those tables are brass. But I'm going to use the black chairs for this. We can flop them all the way around in this area. Lovely jubbly. I think this would be very nice indeed. Yes, it will. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, just a little area where they can come and sit out. And maybe they could clear that away when they have like market stores or something here. I can imagine that happening. Yes, for it. And I think we need some flowers. Flowers all up on these. So I might even pop in some of those base game. Oh, you would work well here. Not in the red though, but oh, you have got a green if I remember. Oh, you do. Is that too much green though? Oh, the gray's nice as well. I like the gray. Yeah, we'll go for the gray. We'll go for the gray. We'll pop one of those there, one of those there. 
Oh, that looks lovely. And the same going along here as well. Same going along here. I'm absolutely for it. Oh, yeah, I like them. I'm glad that we used these. Glad that we used them. Yeah, that's very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. This is looking a little general story now. Do you know what I mean? It's not perfect by any means, but we're definitely getting there, loves. Um, so I'll be back with this again tomorrow as well. This week, let me stuff. I haven't even gone over my itinerary with you. See, that's how rusty I am. This week, got another Let's Build the Park. Let's Build the World's Park coming tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, I have got the last installment of Beryl's Adventures coming out, which is going to be very, very nice. Then on Thursday, I've got a special video, just a nice fun video that I'm going to do with you guys. Um, I won't let you know what it is until it comes out. It's a bit of a challenge video, more, more, more along those lines. And then on the Friday, I have got a speed build. Got a speed build coming out. So there we go. There's your week, my loves. Just a few different videos. But a few people ask me as well when the Harry Potter videos are coming back. Not just yet. I'm just going to take a little bit of time away from that series, as I said. Uh, don't worry. I, I still love doing it and stuff. But I'm, I just want to play around with other videos, you know? So that's what I'm going to be doing, loves. Oh, shit. That's what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, it will, it will be coming. We're going to be starting Malfoy Manor within within the coming weeks. Um, But I do have a very... I've told you guys about this series that I've got planned. Um, Where I kind of go to real life builds around my area. And film them. And um, that's going to be coming soon as well. But that's quite far off that series. Um... I, I want to get, I, I've got things coming. I've got my um, drone on the way. I've, I'm going to be filming with a drone and I've been wanting a drone for ages and I've saved my butt off to finally get one. So it's going to be good. I can't wait. I think you guys are going to love it. I think you guys are going to love this series that I've got planned. I hope that you will anyway, because I'm going to have a lot of fun filming it. That's for sure. That is for sure. So expect that series in the next coming weeks as well. It's all go, go, go loves, but I'm all for it. You know me. You know me, darlings. I'm all absolutely for it. I really am. I think the best thing to do with this is to widen this path slightly around here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of stick with... Not... It doesn't have to be the same thickness as what we've got with these pathways. But I do want them to kind of like marry quite well into each other. I won't perfect them just yet either. I'll just get them basically done for the minute. Uh, I can do the same there. And then what I could do in the front here is do loads of lovely landscaping. Imagine loads of flowers around there and stuff. I'm going to smooth this out here. But um, I think we're going to leave it here for today. We've made a little start. The general store's looking a bit cute. I think it looks really nice. I'm going to leave... Sp I've left space here as well. So I can do like a little... um, Like a couple of baskets of veg and stuff out the front. With some sale signs and stuff up there. But feel free as always guys. Give me some ideas. What, what do you think we should put on this store? What do you think we're missing here? Let me know. Let me know and I'll happily do it. Don't need to sort that out because it's not wonky. But yeah, we'll be back with this tomorrow. We'll crack on with more of the exterior work to this. And we'll probably get into the interior tomorrow as well. What I'll do off of camera is get the flooring and lighting and that sorted in here. And the, the layout of it. Um, and then we'll start making the actual farm store together. But I think this is kind of like semi-fitting into this um, park. Which I'm quite happy about. It looks a bit weird being in a park. But I just want it. I want it, so I'm having it. And it's here. Um, but yes, I'm going to leave you now. There we go, my darlings. Part three of Blossom Creek Park is complete today. As I said, I'll be back with this tomorrow. Give me some ideas for this general store. What do you want to see around the lot? What do you think we're missing, as I said? Um, I love hearing your guys' ideas. Um, so yes, feel free to get them down below in the comments. I appreciate you. I'm so happy to be back. And I will be back again tomorrow around the same time. Goodbye.